back to the show. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me back. Congratulations on joining what many people believe is going to be the next behemoth in streaming, Disney Plus, with a brand new movie that some people are saying is going to be the next Christmas classic. Yes, I'm very smart. It's just yes, like, yeah. I've made all the right moves. It feels like you have, because yeah. this is like, even the premise of the movie, I was like, oh, yeah. Adorable. This is, this is genius. Darling. This is Because you play Santa's daughter, but basically it's like the Santa gets passed down yeah. from generation to generation. Yeah. So Bill Hader plays the next Santa in line. Right. He disappears because he's nervous that he won't do a good job. And I have to, what? Go and save Christmas. I mean, naturally. Right. Why wouldn't I? Why would I make a Christmas movie where I didn't have to save Christmas? <laughs> That's my job. But it's a cool story because, like, I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm not giving anything away, really, it, it, other than the fact that, like, it's just a story where Noel, your character, goes like, oh, why does Santa have to go down to the boys? Like, yeah. Santa could be the most efficient Santa, the most, uh, you know, the most experienced the, Santa. Yeah. Whoever's the best Santa, that could be anyone. Yeah, that could be you. It could be anyone. Right. You have a better chance of fitting down a chimney. Yeah, I, well, I, well, well, thank you, Trevor. I think you do. I yes. think you have a much better job at fitting down a chimney than Santa. Yeah. I think you would be... <laughs> I do, every time I see Santa, I'm like, no, this is not gonna end well. Like, he's gonna sue somebody for the chimney, but I feel like you could make a more efficient Santa. Th thank you. Yeah, I mean, that, th that isn't an argument we use in the film, but maybe it's not too late for reshoots. Well, but that's because in the film, like, Santa has magical things. Yeah. Yes. Of course. There has to be magic. I mean, it's a yes. Disney movie. Right. I mean, if you're gonna do a Christmas movie, it should be with Disney because they're gonna build a North Pole where the whole thing is ice. There are no sidewalks. It's all <laughs> ice, and you ice skate everywhere, and it's all very, that is very magical. Mag it is, it is magical. It's friggin' magical, is what it is. Did you? So when you join like the Disney team, do you get to like meet like cool Disney like like Do you like hang out with Mickey the like goofy like in stuff? the yeah? Uh, yeah. Is it like a secret like like party that Mickey hosts and stuff? Is I mean, I can't talk about that here. <laughs> I shouldn't have even asked. Um... You are you're doing something amazing in your career right now, which is not just acting, not just writing books, not just singing, not just being this all-around performer, but you've stepped behind the camera as well as an executive producer on your yeah. projects, which is really exciting. Yeah, it's been really exciting. It's, um, uh, I mean, it's nice to have a seat at the table, and it's also, like, I do feel like, uh, in so, you know, in, like in so many things in life, it's it, a job that I have felt, frankly, that I've been doing on a lot of projects, and right. I just haven't had the title. Um, so uh, I've had, like comments from directors being like, oh, God, like, thanks for that, Anna. I, I, I owe you a car, my God. I'm like, or you could give me an EP credit. <laughs> um, so it's been really, really exciting. I'm but like, isn't it a bit weird to be like, because here's the thing, when you're acting, the director's sort of your boss, but then, because you're the, you're the actor, and then there's the direct, director's your boss, but then as the yeah. EP, you're now the director's boss. Yeah. So it's like, because it'd be weird well, if the director gives you a note. I know, I know. It's been, it's, I've been really lucky so far where, um, cause sometimes you get on a project and like a two weeks in, you're like, this guy's an idiot. Oh no. Like, what do I do? Um, but so far anything that I've been a produce, oh, okay. producer on, like I have just such respect for I and trust should, for the director. I think you should do a fake phone call. That's what you should do if that happens. Oh. You just do a fake, f fake phone call as yourself. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Cause I'm you're like, there on I'm set. Like, a actor Anna needs to speak to producer Anna. Exactly. This isn't working out with yeah, this director. Yeah, you just go like, Hello. Don't, don't worry, babe, I'm gonna get down there. You're a star. Right, and you just Keep do like going. a whole You're doing thing. great. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what you do. And then you kill the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, do you, do you ever think you'd see a world where you wouldn't be in front of the camera then? I, I don't wanna see that world, but I don't, like a lot of people gravitate towards that, where people, like actors go like, no, I actually enjoy this. I like just like running everything. Um, I mean, I could see that. Uh, I mean, no, it, I just it, said I don't wanna see that. Well, uh, <laughs> Um, I, I mean, it's just, it's less kind of hair extensions and all that stuff. Oh, that so makes that's, sense. So that's, you know, that would be a, that would be a plus. Um, I could wear hoodies again, you know, that kind of thing. That makes sense. Um, but I mean, yeah, I like, I really like my job. I, I, if anything, I think I, for a long time, I felt like really all I wanted to do was the acting part. And I mm -hmm. felt like, um, there came a time when I was like, oh crap. Like, again, like so many things in life, you realize like, there aren't just grown-ups in the room. You know, you're the grown-up. Yes, you're like, that oh makes no, sense. that means nobody knows what they're doing. That's <laughs> such bad news. <laughs> oh no. Um, because it would be great if there were kind of grown-ups that were more grown up than you are, and there aren't. Right. It's just I like that the idea level. that you're saying that in the meeting out loud. <laughs> just like in meetings. <laughs> to everyone oh, going, no, oh there no, are no you're grown ups. All, none of you know what you're doing. <laughs> Why did I listen to any of you? I think that would be amazing. Uh, I think everything that you're doing is amazing. Um, Disney Plus is gonna be huge just because it's Disney. I agree. I'm, I've made the right moves. You have made <laughs> all of the right moves. 
The Christmas movie is coming out. Noelle is your character. Is there anything else you want to tell us about? Because I just like chatting to you. Oh, I actually did want to say that I hope that the fact that Between the Scenes has become like a whole thing is something that you're happy about and not like, I've got to do like bonus interviews now because Anna one time came on after in Between the Scenes. No, and now no. it's like a whole thing. No, no, but you, you were the only person who like refused to listen to me when I said it's not that a thing? Between the Scenes is not a thing. But now it's a thing, so you're welcome. Yes. <laughs> and I... Thank you, Anna. But I hope that that's okay and not just no. more work for you. No, no, it's fine. I can tell I mean, in your eyes that no. you kind of These are it. happy eyes. These are happy eyes. <laughs> these are eyes that enjoy doing more work. That's what these no, eyes are. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I guess maybe we'll do another Between the Scenes. Noelle will be available to stream when Disney Plus launches November 12th. Anna Kendrick, everybody.